Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how I care for my live food in the short time that it's with me. First I'll show you what I'm going to use in this video. And the most important of those is wheat bran. It's very dry and provides the kind of basic carbohydrates for them. And because it is so dry it keeps the moisture down in these smaller containers. And you also need a source of protein. I tend to use these fish food flakes purely because they are so easy to use. Don't need to process them, you just take them straight out of the container and stick them in with these guys. You could also use cat food if you wanted to, but uh, like I say, I tend to use the fish flakes. And then you need a source of moisture for the insects. I've got some sliced up orange here. You could also use apples, cucumbers, pretty much most kinds of fruit and I sometimes you use romaine lettuce as well. So yeah when it comes to the crickets first thing I do is just open the container slightly and then grab the uh, wheat bran before any escape and just basically shower them in it so it gets all over the container. There we go. Close the lid while we uh, get the next thing. Then at one end of the container, I will put some of these fish flakes, just roughly a large pinch or so, and the crickets will duck into that. And then at the other end, I will put a uh, bit of orange for them. So yeah, this is how I generally keep the crickets. The large ones will last about a week like this. You may need to put some more fish food in there if they eat it all. And I'd always recommend that you remove the fruit after a couple of days and replace it with something fresh. Next up we have the superworms. And it's pretty similar to the crickets. Just add a little bit more wheat bran to what they've already got. As well as a pinch of fish food for protein. And then just put one of these bits of orange in there as well. These guys will actually last quite a few weeks like this. But what I would recommend doing is once a week empty the container and completely replace all the wheat bran so it's all fresh in there and then again add a bit more fish food and a bit of orange. For the adult locusts if you're going to keep them more than a couple of days I would recommend putting them in a larger enclosure but if I am going to feed them off within a day or two I usually leave them in here. And again, what I do is just add a little bit of wheat bran, a little bit of fish food for them. And I usually give these guys romaine lettuce, but I haven't actually got any of that at the minute. So they are going to get a bit of orange as well. Not sure how much they'll eat. Just watch these guys because they will start jumping out of the container. As you've just seen. So let's just pop these back in and get the lid on quickly. There we go. Next up we have the wax worms and I literally just keep them in this container exactly how they've arrived. Don't add anything to this because these guys are actually fully grown and within a week or two they will pupate and then after another week or two they will emerge as moths. So yeah, I'd recommend feeding these guys off pretty quickly because they're not going to be at this larval stage for much longer but because they are fully grown they are the easiest thing to care for because they don't actually require any kind of maintenance and last up we have the beetle larvae I have just unearthed these guys but as you can see they are quickly reburying themselves in the substrate and what I usually do for these is I get some cat food leave it to soak for 10 or 15 minutes and then put that dampened cat food onto the substrate and they really do seem to enjoy that and along with that I'll usually put a bit of fruit like orange or a romaine lettuce leaf or something like that but because I have got some of this specialist food for them I am actually going to add a bit of that as well just to make sure they are nice and nutritious for the spiders okay so I've got the food in there now and what you want to do is give your live food at least 24 hours to consume some of the food that you've given them and then that way 
you can make sure they're nice and nutritious for your spiders or other pets that you may be feeding them to. So you can see the crickets are enjoying the orange there and I'm sure most of that cat food will be gone as well. In fact what I'll do is I'll do an update tomorrow so you can see just how much these guys have eaten. Okay so it's been around 24 hours and looks like the crickets have really enjoyed the orange there. They've pretty much completely eaten their piece and all of the fish food has gone as well. If you notice how nice and plump they're looking, these are going to make great food for the spiders, very nutritious. And the smaller crickets have pretty much done the same thing. Looks like there's a little bit of orange left and a little bit of fish food, but they are all looking nice and plump as well. Looks like the locusts have had a nibble on the fish food and orange, but they don't usually eat it all. And if we open up this, let's see how the superworms have done. They're all looking very shiny and healthy, definitely plump and full of life. Let's see if I can find the orange, see what's left of that. So they've had a good go at that. So these are also going to be ready to feed to the spiders. And the last thing we've got is the beetle larvae, who looks like they've uh, taken the orange into the substrate, which is always a good sign. And the cat food we put on there has completely vanished, so I'm guessing they enjoyed that. So yeah, anyway guys, this is how I keep my live food, but I'm only going to be keeping it for a short amount of time. If you're going to be keeping it for longer, then you may want to rehouse it into a small exoterror or something, give it a bit more space and it will probably last quite a bit longer but because these are going to be fed off within a week or two then this is generally how I keep them over that time I would be very interested to know how you guys keep your live food so if you leave a comment or make a video and send me the link then I'll be sure to check it out okay then guys thanks for watching and I shall see you again soon